welcome back in this video i will discuss what are the different issues we will face in machine learning algorithms i have explained different uh, algorithms the link for those particular algorithms is uh, given in the description below we face a lot of issues when we design any machine learning application or any machine learning model the very first uh, issue what we face in this case is there are n number of algorithms present in machine learning algorithm but uh, which one is supposed to choose when it comes to solving a particular problem because uh, a particular problem uh, may be solved with one algorithm in a better way and if i try to apply some different algorithm on the top of same problem i may not uh, be get a uh, better results so here uh, it's a very difficult uh, situation because which particular algorithm i supposed to select on a particular problem so what we need to do here is uh, the only option left with us is like uh, we need to uh, go with the, the uh, algorithm and then we need to check whether it is working fine or not if it works fine it's okay otherwise uh, we need to consider some other algorithm and so on so that is the first issue what we will face uh, in machine learning now coming back to the second one uh, how much uh, training data is sufficient to train the particular model for example uh, when it comes to machine learning we will train machine learning model with the help of uh, the experience that is nothing but the past data but how much amount of data is supposed to consider while training a particular model because uh, there is no fixed rule like i have to select some hundred number of examples i should select thousand number of examples or should or i should select uh, uh, a million number of examples there is no thumb rule as such so how much amount of uh, training data is supposed to consider while training a particular model that's a very difficult question in front of us that's an another uh, issue in machine learning coming back to the third one uh, we used to say that whenever we want to uh, design a particular model for a particular problem definition we should have a knowledge or you can say that uh, the domain knowledge is uh, very much required but if you have a, if you don't have a complete uh, domain knowledge you have approximate knowledge you can say in such case uh, uh, shall i continue with the implementation or i supposed to get a complete knowledge that's a very big question over here because uh, you can say that half knowledge may lead to a lot of uh, troubles at the later stage so that's another thing we need to know because everybody may not be having uh, the or complete knowledge about all the domains so that's that's a big problem in this uh, particular case coming back to the fourth uh, uh, you can say that a issue over here uh, as i said earlier in the previous uh, uh, issue like uh, how much amount of data is sufficient for training a particular model let us assume that we have selected some uh, you can say that the examples to train the model maybe around 100 examples now after training that particular example uh, we will test our model and the model will perform with some accuracy but what happens is uh, we, we we may not be happy with that particular accuracy in such case so we need to go back and then uh, train our model with a few more examples but while selecting few more examples there comes the problem which particular example i supposed to consider how many new example i supposed to consider and so on so these are all the problems comes comes into picture when you want to select a new set of uh, training examples uh, on a trained model and so on so that's another issue in machine learning fifth uh, machine issue in machine learning uh, talks about uh, is it possible for a learner to automatically alter its representation for example uh, initially we will give some set of uh, representation let us say that if it is artificial neural network we say that uh, there will be uh, three layers one is input layer another one is output layer and in between there will be a hidden layer now uh, uh, is it possible for a learner to alter this particular uh, representation like uh, uh, i will go with a four uh, layers uh, rather than going with uh, one hidden layer i will add one more hidden layer so such kind of things are possible uh, or not that's a big question because uh, uh, manually if we try doing this particular thing again and again it will take a lot of time so that's a big question in in, in uh, decision tree learning algorithm uh, we uh, initially say that the depth of the tree should be around uh, let us say that the 10 level after uh, giving this particular input at the initial stage can the learner adjust that particular depth so that it will get the better accuracy and so on so that may be the another issue in machine learning over here coming back to the last uh, one over here is uh, what is the best way to reduce the task to one or more uh, 
function approximation problems so this is uh, the another one uh, or or can put this particular thing in another way like uh, what specific functions should the system should learn for example if if uh, a particular uh, learner is giving you more than one function what should be the specific function we need to consider uh, for real world implementation and so on so that is uh, the sixth issue over here usually such kind of things are called as bias in uh, a particular model that is it is giving you more than one answer which answer are you supposed to consider so that's a big question in front of uh, the model builder or you can say that the machine learning expert in this case these are some of the issues what we will face while designing a machine learning model to solve a problem and implement that particular model in real world i hope the concept is clear if you like this particular video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates Thank you for watching.